Okay. The time has come. What do I need? Well, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I need an eight. Because Wario's right sinking there. Luigi. Luigi could still possibly get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, wait, no, he can't. So I need a I need a high stinking number. Seven. Was that an, I needed an eight. Did I need an eight? ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Wait... Think about this... Think about it for a second... No. I was gonna be like, what if I go to Wario, then Wario goes all the way over there and deactivates the thing... I'm getting... Wow. I am getting my stinking locomotive and oh wait, no, no, I did not lose my chance to pause. Give me my chance to pause. Pause, 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 pause. Pause, pause, pause. Okay, good, I have Peach's turn, thank God. Wait, pause. Hashtag reset. Oh, thank God it was only the next one stinking hashtag reset, and I did it. Oh yeah, I was all laid back in the chair because I was like, I'm gonna be here forever trying to get the stinking boo to disappear. Go away and give me my stinking locomotive. I swear to God, Wario, if you get a one. Okay, it looks like you got a one for a second. Locomotive ahoy! The mystery chain, train, whatever. It's a chain of trains or a chain of coffins. We're going. To the boneyard! And Peach goes on. Yeah, so you just activate this train and you ride it. And it's very fun. You got this cool music and you just decide where you want to go and you keep on going until you hit one of these boneyards. And you pass any board events along the way, which is also kind of crummy, but whatever. We showed off the happening spaces and the locomotive. And. What? What? Either Wario's an idiot or he's setting up for like the biggest comeback in history. But no, because Peach is about to- unless she doesn't get it. And hello, Crystal Ball. Also, she didn't use the Crystal Ball last turn in the alternate reality, did she? Gee, I wonder who she's stealing coins from. You know what? I will gladly just give you my coins for the locomotive experience I just had. 25 coins, I don't care. Like, seriously, I- I am insane for, like, working so sing hard to try and get the stinking locomotive working. <laughs> But I did it, and it all paid off in the end. Justice has been served, and I had a good birthday. <laughs> the only thing that can make it better is if I got to ride the locomotive, but I don't think that's going to be happening because I'm all the way down there, and no one's going to be in that star either, I don't think. Oh, thank god, he didn't like, deactivate right there, so there's still a chance, guys, even though there's not actually a chance. Unless something happens, I have no idea. Wow, apparently Wario and Peach are inseparable. I don't even know what the heck that was. That was just stinking weird, but we got the locomotive. Now I can stop talking about it. The Great Deflate, hooray! Cliffhanger, have we done cliffhangers yet? I'm trying to remember what that one is. Uh, I have no idea. Guess we'll leave it on a cliffhanger as to whether or not we played it. Uh -huh. Just gonna play this again. Send me all your inflatable thwomps. I want them, just like how I want a gumball machine that looks like the Mario Party 5 capsule machine. It's like my ultimate goal in life. I want it. It looks super cool. I got very small dreams. But it doesn't matter what your dreams are, big or small. However big or however small, just let me be part of it all. Of course, we had to get Greatest Showman in there. One last time. So it won't be the last time. We're gonna be doing it a million more times. A million references to this movie. The last two! Six. Three, a four, a five, and I don't even have money to begin with, so... Wait, did I say, wait a sec, last turn, wait a second, you don't have money. It'd be funny if, like, he said, you don't have enough money to enter the shop, but then, like, it's the last turn anyway, so he's not even allowed to buy stuff anyway. Uh, what do we got? We can't access the bridge, so... Uh, I think it'd be most beneficial if we just went upwards and hunt out with the mini-boo again, why not? Or I could have used the Super Mega Mushroom to go over there and smash Luigi. Smash Luigi. Smash Luigi. No, yeah, we're gonna YouTube channel Luigi. Uh, let's go ahead and three. 
One, a two. Uh, let's see, yeah, we're gonna play, gonna play the very intense uh, piano game once again. Oh, and now I just thought, I just remembered Melody exists, now I'm sad that she isn't part of this. And there you go. You don't press anything for the last one, because you're wondering. 20 coins! Way to go! Hey, hey! <laughs> like, hey, hey, yes. 250 stinking coins. Come again, hee <laughs> hee! And we get to spring over to somewhere. Am I gonna join the Wario Peach Party, or am I going over to Spooky Side? Going to Spooky Side! Yeah, at least I get to smell the train from afar. Sort of, kind of. I get to see the star space in the distance. If only Wacky Watch existed, which would give us five more turns. What if Wario gets, like, a space that lets him get items for everyone and then Peach gets a Sparky Sticker or a Swap Card and switches with someone who has a Warp Pipe and then uses the Warp Pipe to get over to the locomotive and gets to ride the locomotive again! No. Oh, but she's gonna show off the final mini-mini game for us, which is very cool. So this is a very eventful floor! We have a very good time today! Oh. Or you could not. Cool. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I am stinking done. I'm so obnoxious. I get so stinking happy over the dumbest things. But whatever. Book squirm. Let's finish it off with books. I like to smosh. <laughs> I don't know. So I was thinking actually, would Kim Boo make a good character. I don't think it's happening because like they already had Luigi be the focus of a smash trailer. The one where he stinking died. But um, King Boo would be an interesting character, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Though I would like to see it because I always love, uh, what the heck are they doing? I love uh, Luigi's Mansion representation. And people were talking about like, I saw people talking about why they want Geno in Smash. And I was thinking about that, like, why do we want Geno in Smash? Like, yeah, he's an interesting character, but like, why do we want him? Because like, he, uh, is it just a meme to ask for him, like with Waluigi? But no, I actually do want Waluigi. Um, I think it's that, like, when you think about it, there is no character in Smash that represents the Mario RPGs. I know, like, there's Mario himself and Peach and Bowser, but there are no RPG Mario characters, and the Mario RPGs are really stinking amazing. Like, we should have someone like Fawful or Dementio or one of the party members, like, um, Vivan or Gino and Mallow, they should be in Mario Party or in Smash Bros, but they just aren't. It's really weird that they aren't. So, there should be a Mario RPG representative in Mario in Smash Bros. I don't know why I keep on saying that, but whatever. Not bad, mortals, and now here comes the results. Did you just assume my uh pulse? <laughs> First, let's see the number of stars. Here's everyone's number of stars. And next the number of coins. 260. Gee, I wonder who has the coin star. Now it's time for the bonus star results. Each chosen player will receive one star. First, the minigame star. This person goes to the person who won the most coins in their minigames. So the minigame star is... Daisy! And next is the coin star. This is the person who managed to get the most coins in the game. Then the coin star goes to... Daisy! And finally, the happening star. This goes to the player who landed the most happening spaces. This bashes happening star is... Daisy! I very rarely hand out this star. Yeah, sort of unfortunate that we didn't get to hear signature lines. It was always just funny and like it was very fitting for a boo board that like he gets to troll you right at the end. But like, no one got a happening space, her her. But no, I just had to click on that happening space, oh well. Now for the final results. And the winner is Daisy! And Peach is about to fall off the platform, and so is Wario. And Luigi doesn't even get a platform because he's Luigi and I hate him. Daisy is Zipatista!
fourth, third, second, first. I kind of wish you would always switch around to be like whoever's bored it is, they would appear to the next to the first place person. I'm just sick of being next to Toad. I want to be next to Boo because he's a cool dude. We had 260 stinking corns, 164 through mini games. Oh my god, I got a lot of stinking money. No chance time, surprisingly. Uh, we didn't get any extra. We didn't actually get to benefit from the free star thing because no one got to the star space. It's funny. Uh, but yeah, it was a fun board. We got to show up a lot of cool stuff in it. And I'm glad that we did, because it's my favorite board. But of course, it's not over yet. Congratulations, Daisy! I know that I said that I'd give you the present. Well, I kinda lied. Oh my god, I had no idea. You have to beat me at a minigame to get it. What a shocking turn of events. Oh wait, no, it's like the ruby. What a shocking turn of events. Huh? What? <laughs> I don't know, I don't know which one I like better, the uh, quiet one or the confused one. <laughs> you dare challenge me to the mystic matchum? Would you like to hear the rules? In this game, you must find three cards with the same picture. First, find the card you don't need and press A to discard it. Then select one card from the table and press A to pick it up. When, I, when your turn ends, then I'll go. Whoever can match three cards of the same picture first wins. Each of the four cards has its own instrument. You may match any you want. However, if you pick one of the three missed cards, then all the matching cards you hold will disappear. So you must be very careful when you pick your cards. That's all there is to this game. Yee, <laughs> so shall we begin? Basically, you just gotta get three matching cards and you win. And it's luck based, hooray! Got all randoms, okay. Uh, do I go first? Oh, ladies first, how kind of you. Uh, we'll get rid of, oh, it's my favorite instrument, a knight's instrument, or Helen, sorry, Helen! <laughs> Uh, get rid of the violin and go with this one. Oh, pff, of course. Get rid of all the violins right now. The boo, the swap one. Uh, okay, he loses all of his cards. Get scrambled around. Three. I don't think it's possible to get matching ones right off the bat, so thankfully we don't have to worry about that. It's somewhat made a rhyme. Uh, another trump- not another trumpet, it's my first trumpet. MY VERY FIRST TRUMPET! And he gets a flute, get rid of the trumpet. Uh, go with this one. Piano, double piano! Let's see if I can get my favorite instrument. Uh, he gets a double trumpet, okay, down to the wire. Uh, let's go right in the middle. Violin, okay. Gets rid of the violin. At least I got that and he didn't. A uh, flute. Get rid of the violin. Piano, I choose you! Yes! Ooh! Way to go, Daisy! <laughs> Whoa! Here's your present! And your eyes are shifted to the other way this time. I don't know what's up with your eyes in this game, but whatever. You got Daisy's side table, or as I like to call it, the bureau! Get it like a bureau? <laughs> now something about the bureau. You see there's a little book on top of it, which you might be wondering what that is. If you zoom in the camera, if you take the camera anywhere you want and zoom it super close beyond the boundaries, you can actually see that's the box art for Mario Party 2, which is kind of interesting considering Daisy wasn't actually part of that game, but whatever. So that's really cool to look at. And we're putting her side table in the present room. And with that, Boo's Haunted Bash is complete. We had a ghost of a time, I would say. Next time on Mario Party 4, aka Daisy Party, we are headed to the final board in story mode, Koopa Seaside Soiree, which is my least favorite board in the game. What a great note to end on. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.
Uh, hello. Okay, I was just refreshing my computer. So, uh, we got a repeat song in World 3, unfortunately. Uh, like the Easter Island heads. Uh, I don't know, it's just like, there's only four worlds, and I don't know why they could just think of one more song. I doubt it was like a storage problem, but... I don't know, I kind of wish there was just one extra song for all the areas, but don't worry. They make up for it in World 4. Anyone who's played the game knows well what I'm talking about. Uh, just watch out, because those are the platforms that drop, and oh geez, it's very, very close. Uh, get away. Go down here, yes. Uh, what do we got? I like how bland the, uh, underground music is. It's like, burr, 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 burr. Uh, let's take us, because they took all the epic, no, oh, come on! They took all the epicness from the temple music, so they couldn't use that for the underground music, and they just made it like burr, 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 burr. Uh, hit up here, hit that. Uh, I guess we got multiple coins here. Okay, very, very nice. So oh, that was awkward. So like, where are the Easter Island hand heads standing on? They're just floating in midair, are they? So they come on! They must be floating on something or, or standing on something. So I should be able to stand down there with them, but no. Uh, let's go over here and here, jump, and we are going to, there we go, we're going to jump right here, and right here, oh god, Jesus, maybe I'll release this like its own video on its own, like in the extras room, I'll just have it like a, be a, a separate extra thing, like hey, here's an extra present or whatever, I guess, I don't know, of, uh, maybe it could be like, let's play number whatever, number LP this is. I think it's let's play number 64.5. Uh, uh, oh, come on! What the fruit is that thing? It's like, it was walk, it was like a nose pass before nose pass was nose pass. Um, I don't know what I was even saying, but like, I could have it be like its own separate video, or I could have it be like, let's play number 64.5 or whatever. I'm actually, I don't know, I've, if I have two let's plays that have the point five thing, because for those who don't know, uh, my third let's play Kirby's Adventure, it has a let's play 2.5, which was Kirby's Dream Land, which came out before it's really confusing. So does that mean when I finish up, I'm going to have 120.5 Let's Plays? Or is it going to be like 121 because Kirby's Dream Land counts as a full Let's Play? I don't even know. The idea I have is to Let's Play the rest of the Kirby's Dream Collection uh, series of games. And that's unfortunate. And then Let's Play number three will just get relabeled as Kirby's Dream Collection. It'll just be the entire collection. Uh, that's my way of cheating my own system that... I only care about and I make all the rules too so even if I don't do anything about it like I could still say that it's uh, whatever way I want it to be yeah I don't know I have a weird stinking rule set I should learn to take things not so seriously all the time but whatever uh, I've been doing it like this for this for this long might as well keep going till the very end uh don't even want to risk it oh geez go over here hit that uh, avoid all these bullet bills. Looks like just straight up bullets, though. This game's getting edgier. We don't got bullet bills. Well, then again, uh, having Jesus Christ, having like a living entity have its entire existence be getting shot out of a cannon and like obliterating people seems kind of depressing when you think about it. So having just bullets that don't need to live with the guilt of all the people that they've slain and just like having to suffer by getting either stomped on or like shot out of a cannon, smashing into a wall or whatever. It sounds a lot more pleasant, and what also sounds pleasant is the idea of a restore point right now. So, I'm going to create it because I'm a wuss and I can't play these uh, more difficult games of the older generation. You darn whippersnappers don't know what real gameplay is like. Uh, just get away from that, get all the coins, and jump up here. Oh, we got two lives now. Hello! I don't know if zero counts as a life in this game, but I'd rather not find out. Uh, we got Boulder. Boulder, I just met her. It's a very cool looking boulder, like like the animation for it, I don't know why. Uh, but you could stand on it, which is nice. Would have liked to have st stood on that. Oh, they just appear out of nowhere, okay. Oh, and if I hit it on the side, then I die, cool. Uh, just stand on here. And, there we go. Uh, jump on this one. Keep on bouncing around. And we're good, or not entirely good. We're just a little all right. Huh, okay, good. That and nothing. No mushrooms, no dice. Uh, well, there's dice in the Mario Party segments if you go back and watch those. I guess there's also mushrooms as well. Uh, get over here, thank you. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. And hit that, thank you. Can I get the mini game? Uh, of course not. Moving grave, I hit the boulder right at the very end. Riveting commentary! Hey, speaking of riveting, it's a river something. That was 
crummy. Uh, just fly through here, not fly through here, walk through here. Uh, we got a spider we can step on, thankfully. Hit the Koopa. Uh, we got coins, coins, nothing, coin, and a coin. Jump on you, and get over here, hit you. Uh, so like I said, I'm recording this like the day before Mario Party 4 is supposed to go up. I finally finished editing Stinkin' Undertale, did not think that was going to be as long as it wound up being. And of course, like, when I finally get around to playing Undertale, of all things, an Undertale sequel gets released. Like, I just have a way of, with Earthbound... Yeah, now that I think about it, I do have a way of, like, with Earthbound games, like, causing some sort of thing to happen. Like, with Mother 1, I was Let's Play Mother 1 the same time that uh, Earthbound Beginnings got announced. And, like, who in the world could have guessed that was going to get announced of, like, at E3? Um, and then when I was Let's Play Earthbound, a certain other Let's Player decided to do a Let's Play of Earthbound, which was very revolutionary and stuff, considering the way he's gone about making LPs, so, uh, not taking credit for that one, but, uh, might as well take the credit for it and say that I am a master of illusion and whatnot. And then with Sink and Undertale, like, the sequel comes out, and that's what the game thinks of me being obnoxious. Cool. Let's just keep going! Oh, I wonder what what's gonna happen when I let's play the Mother 3 fan translation. Uh, hopefully. I'm giving, you know what, YouTube? Or, not YouTube, Nintendo, I'm giving you, like, six stinking years to release the Mother 3 in North America. If, I, I well, wait, does your account select? Okay, good! Uh, create the restore point before I regret it. Alright, go and do that, but, um... I was even saying, I'm giving you six stinking years to release Mother 3. If you don't do it, I'd like to play Mother 3 for the channel uh, on a legitimate copy, but if you give me no other option, you know what's gonna happen. You hear that, Nintendo? I'm sure you wouldn't want that. If my name beyond, let's play the game. It's all you ever think about. Load the restore point. Uh, let's go over here. I'd love to see Mario Land make a comeback, or not even Mario Land, but just like, I want Daisy to be in the main series games and stuff. I'm sure it would just be, like, weird, I don't know, like, Daisy has, like, such a vastly different personality when, now that she's got, like, her sporty tomboy voice. I like the tomboy personality, it's just that, I don't know, I like her original voice so much more, just, like, a lot less annoying and stuff. No offense to the person who voices her now, but, like, I just adore that original voice. Maybe it was just because I was the one I uh, first heard or whatever, so I'm gonna be biased towards it, but whatevs. Uh, I'm just gonna jump over here. I'm very happy to see her in Smash Bros, though, but, uh, I would love to see Tatanga return. I want to see more different villains and different plots in Mario games. I'm still playing through Mario and Rabbids, and I'm having so much fun with that. Uh, actually, wait. Actually, wait. No, it was zero lives, so I couldn't just... I was like, oh, maybe I'll end up at a better checkpoint, but no. Can't do that, unfortunately, because I have zero lives, so it wouldn't matter. Uh, just go over here. I could just start creating re restore points at... Uh, closer areas. I don't know when the official checkpoints happen, so I can't base it off of that. I would just be like, oh, do I want to not want to redo that part anymore? Then I could, then I could create one right there. Oh wait, a special game over jingle. Hope that was worth it. Uh, keep on going. Uh, let's see if we can hit that. At least I'm making the videos longer for you guys, right? Uh, maybe it'll just fit in nicely because of, wow, because of the fact that, uh, the boards are only 15 terms, turns this time around, like, terms. Uh, continue onward. Go do that. But yeah, I want to see Mario Land make a return. I want to see Tatanga again and Daisy in a main series Mario game, or even if it is a spinoff, just make more weird Mario games. I love Mario and Rabbids a lot more than I thought it was going to. And I just like these weird and new characters and seeing the Nintendo cast interact with them and stuff. It's just so singing cool. Uh, so it started with the same thing with Detective Pikachu. I'm finally playing the game. The game is okay, I guess, but the movie looks a lot more uh, hilarious and edgy and whatnot. The designs just make me so uncomfortable, but I like that about it because it's just like a familiar formula that gets turned on its head and it's just like so dark and whatnot. So that's why I like Mario and Rabbids, that's why I like the Detective Pikachu movie, and I know I've mentioned it a million times already, but that's why I like Idol Master Xenoglossia! So that's why I like Idol Master Xenoglossia, because it takes all the stinking cutesy idol characters and puts them in mechs in a post-apocalyptic world and have them murder each other and stuff. It's a great stinking time, you should check it out. Uh, I would recommend it, like, 
if you don't like Idol Master, then go ahead and watch it because it has nothing to do with Idol Master. If you do like Idol Master, I would again recommend you watch it because it's a completely different experience, something you wouldn't expect, and uh, just fun to be to feel unsettled with in these sort of environments and stuff with shows and games. Oh geez, uh, I'm gonna create the restore point because I'm tired of doing this. All right, restore point created. I don't care if I'm being cheap. Uh, let's see. Get that mushroom. Get that. I was that close to a stick and healing item the entire time. Uh, hit that, hit that, hit that, and go over here, go over here, avoid the spider. Uh, do we got a boulder? Yeah, we do. I love that boulder animation. Uh, don't go chasing waterfalls, folks. <laughs> uh, got another one, ever so conveniently. I don't know where they're coming from, I don't even think Nintendo knows where they're coming from, but whatever. Uh, I like how the bullet bill blaster itself comes out of the pipe, usually they just have the blast like set up in a station but no they have a pipe a, a pipe coming out of a pipe essentially and then the prana plant comes out uh create another restore point because i'm cheap and i'm tired of uh, hashtag resets uh let's go over here go over here just jump uh jumpy jump a jumpity jump uh this is tight this is tight this is tight and we're good okay cool fortunately we didn't get the bonus game but we don't need it because we get the power of uh infinite restore points Thank you.